Good morning. Uh, today isn't a really good day. It's a day that I woke up to conflict. It seems like every day I'm waking up to conflict. Uh, I'm on the West Coast. I wake up in the morning. I pop on the TV, the social media, the news, whatever it is. And you guys are already fighting on the, on the East Coast. All right. We're already fighting here on the West Coast. We just barely opened our eyes. I am really starting to get annoyed by you. You, me, all of us. It seems like conflict is what drives us. People want conflict and it's not good. Hate has no place in your heart. It has no place. And I want to read to you um, a set of Bible verses that I'm going to paraphrase just to kind of get through the gist of Ephesians chapter 4, the end, uh, verses 25 to 32. Now listen to me carefully because this is really important. This has stuck with me since my teens when I first read this. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. And do not give the devil a foothold. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other. And I don't care if you're, oh, I'm not religious or this or that, and I don't believe in the devil. You know what? then think of the devil as whatever evil force you want to. Whoever your enemy is, he wants us to fight. He wants you to be in conflict, okay? Every single day I wake up to conflict and I'm really getting sick of it. I don't care. You're fighting for your rights, that's one thing. You're fighting to take away other people's rights, to keep them from getting rights that they've deserved for the last, you know, half a millennia. Um, then that's something you have to examine. But wake up, just, I challenge you, wake up tomorrow morning and just refuse, refuse conflict. When it comes your way, just leave, just leave the room. Do not succumb to it. Don't give the devil a foothold. Your enemy wants us to fight. He wants you to be in disarray, okay? All right, that's it, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about today. This is really important, guys. I don't know. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. On second thought, I decided not to end on such a sour note. I'm going to read some lighter notes from our book. 637 Best Things Anybody Ever Said. Gloria Steinem, 460. Logic is in the eye of the logician. Robert Byrne, author of the book, 461. Everything is in a state of flux, including the status quo. I very much agree. Ken Bates, one of California's 700 licensed fur trappers. I don't even know that was a profession anymore. The only people with a right to complain about what I do for a living are vegetarian nudists. He's right. 463, unknown. I'm trying to arrange my life so that I don't even have to be present. Sounds like me. 464, Aldous Huxley. To travel is to discover that everyone is wrong about other countries. <laughs> All right, Irma, Irma Bombeck's father. This is the lightest one of the day. 466, never accept a drink from a urologist. Never accept a drink from a urologist. I will take that advice to the grave. Thank you. Love every one of you. Keep smiling, all right? I miss you all. Later.